60 years ago this week, Sheffield's former tram network ceased operation for the final time. The network sprawled across the city, from Intake to Middlewood, from Walkley to Ecclesall, and from Brightside to Beechief. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the remains of this network 60 years after it closed. The Sheffield Tramway first opened in 1873, with the first line between Ladies Bridge and Attercliffe. By 1902, all the lines were electrified, and by 1910, the network covered 39 miles across the city. The biggest remaining part of the network remains hidden for the most part, right beneath our feet. When the network closed, instead of removing the tracks, they were simply filled in with tarmac. As the years have gone by, and the city's roads have been resurfaced, and resurfaced, and resurfaced, the tracks have remained out of sight. Occasionally though, the tracks do emerge from the ground. Roadworks often expose the old network. These photos show the rusty old tracks emerging near the Victoria Keys during roadworks. Recently, the tracks have also been exposed at Hansworth Road, Fitzalan Square and Hounsfield Road. Perhaps the most noticeable remnants of the network are the tram sheds, like this one on Shoreham Street. After the trams had disappeared, it was used as a bus depot until 1990, and in more recent times it has been converted into flats, although the facade remains. In a similar situation, the Hillsborough depot on Home Lane still partly exists. The facade is now the entranceway to the tramway's medical centre, which was built on the footprint of the depot after most of it was demolished. The Healy depot has had a particularly rough time since the trams disappeared. It was used as an MOT repair centre until 2005, when it was purchased by developers. Planning permission was granted, but the developers were told that the Grade 2 listed archway had to remain. One morning, residents woke to find the archway completely destroyed. The developers claimed that the archway had fell over during the night as it was structurally unstable, and the council ordered the archway to be rebuilt. Along with its date stone, the archway was rebuilt and now forms the entrance to the car park for the block of flats. The most intact tram shed is the Tinsley Depot, located just across the road from IKEA. It is now a tile warehouse and once was the Sheffield Bus Museum from 1987 until it moved to Rotherham in 2007. Perhaps the most unusual remnant of the old Sheffield tram network is located at the roundabout at Firth Park. The roundabout is split in two, and this is where the trams used to sail straight over the roundabout instead of around it. The gap in the roundabout also still houses the original tracks. On the 8th of October 1960, Sheffield's last tram made its final journey on the Tinsley to Beachy route. It was decorated especially for the event, with the Sheffield coat of arms on the front and illustrations of former models of trams on the side. This tram now lives at the Kreitz Tramway Museum, along with a few other Sheffield trams. Other Sheffield trams were also saved, and are located at the Beamish Museum in the North East, and at the South Yorkshire Transport Museum in Rotherham. So, Sheffield's old trams may have disappeared 60 years ago, but there's still plenty to remind us of this once great network. Don't forget to like History0114 on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to check out our other videos, All Grief Hall Lost and Found, Hansworth Church Tower Climb, and Sheffield's Tallest Buildings, 1430 to 2020.